hi guys so I'm here with another tutorial and I will be doing spring twists on my hair so I'm just showing you all here that I have freshly washed hair um, I usually wash it and then separate it sit under the dryer a little bit I will be using beeswax as you see here it's the black kind Murray's and also my favorite edge control um, or tamer even 24 hour and I have the free tress braiding crochet this is water wave 12 inches um, so that is what I'll be using so um, it's no real um, if you'll notice like I'm not being too picky about the parting um, you'll see that you know the squares aren't exactly even especially on this side this is my thinner side so um, it'll be a little bit probably a bigger party so putting just a little bit of uh, edge tamer there um, just to hold the base of it make sure I get it good a little light comb just kind of raking it a little bit to smooth it out and so then this is where I use the beeswax and I always want to try and make sure I get it down to the ends because um, I don't want that to be dry um, especially putting um, any kind of braiding hair in you want to make sure that you kind of get your actual hair saturated pretty good with whatever you choose to use I just choose to use beeswax because I feel like it holds the moisture in my hair a little bit longer so and it kind of smooths it down so what I just did was I took one of the strands out of the pack and separated it just pull it apart it comes apart pretty easy and then I just create start braiding um, my hair acts as like the third strand so I'll do that maybe about five maybe six times depending on how I feel it looks like five and so once I get to that point I'll take my hair which is like the third strand and just separate it into two adding it to one part to each side of the braiding hair so now I'm ready to twist So hopefully that makes sense. So just twist and twist and twist on down. This hair was a little bit longer than I was hoping for I got 12 um, and uh, probably if I could have found 10 then I probably would have used that because I wanted it shorter but hey work what I got so I'm just showing you just get all the way down to the end as far as you can go and you see I'm wrapping it or twisting it tight and then once you get to the very end just wrap it kind of like coil it around your finger let it go and it's going to loosen up you see it's pretty long so I'm just showing you again that's 12 inches so just in case you know you haven't done this so you can see how long 12 is <laughs> so I'll walk you through this again you see I didn't use a comb this time I just separated with my fingers put some of that edge tamer on the base close to the part closest to my scalp some beeswax make sure I get it down to the end down to the end of my hair I want to make sure it's coated good 
brush it a little bit. You don't have to do that. I just choose to do it. You see, I, I don't do it all the time, but it helps. So just grab one of those strands. They're pretty well separated in the pack. Take it and divide it in half. Pull it apart. There you go. Put it back together. And then again, just grab. My hair works as the third strand. Start braiding. Two, three, four, five, six. Looks like I even went seven with that one. That's up to you. So now I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to separate it in two. One goes on one side, the other goes the other strand. And now I'm ready to just twist. Twist, twist, twist. So, you guys, that's pretty much it. That's what I will be doing. Um, so, I'm going to stop talking now. Um, and just let you all watch. I hope that this um, actually is pretty helpful. If it's your first time doing it or, you know, you're just looking for a different way to do it because there are other options. Um, they have rubber band options, which, you know, that's not good for my hair because, as, as I said, I have um, hair is a little bit more fragile, especially on my right side. Um, and then, you know, crocheting them in. So there's other options that you can use. But this is just my... Um, preferred method if you want let me know comment and i can show you how to crochet them or use rubber band methods or whatever just let me know if you're interested in that that's it so not a whole lot So just in case you all are wondering why I separate it, why do I separate the strands? I think it helps the hair, you know, look much more natural. Um, as you can see, the hair is kind of shiny. Um, and so when you do that, it kind of takes away from that shine, um, gives it that fullness at the end, um, makes it a little bit more springy and you know, it just looks a little bit more natural to me. So that's an important step. Separate your strands. And uh, just go for it. So, okay. Stop talking now for real. <laughs>
Okay. So at this point, I just want y'all to know that this is one pack. One pack. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just so you know what that looks like. Okay. So, at this point, I'm about, well, on my third pack. Um, you see I have, like, the lower half of the back done. I finished the other side. Um, so the front half of my head was basically two packs of hair. And then um, I'm still on, on pack number three at this point. And just continuing the same process. Same process. Y'all, I was tired. Look how big that section is. That's a shame. <laughs> I was tired when I started. But at this point, like, I was just ready to be done. So I know, like, later on, I'll probably go back and divide the the bigger sections in half or something like that um just so i could have a little bit more um density in the back um but hey when you're tired you just want to get it done and this hair like i said was longer than what i expected so i had my hands full but made it work